6 a.m. very early in the morning. This is just a day in the life. Some of the things I do, so I want to take you guys with me. Um, I uh, have a big class in Michigan. So what I'm gonna do is I got my little one with me, as you guys can see, um, and I'm gonna drop her off. Uh, I gotta cut my hair, and then I got a flight to catch at nine o'clock. And I want you guys to take that ride with me. Uh, I got a group of 20 females uh, that wanna learn how to fade hair. So uh, it's in Canton, Michigan. Uh, I think it's right outside of Detroit, Michigan. Flight's at 9 a.m., like I said, it's six. So I wanna get something to eat, you know, go ahead and try to get <laughs> my hair cut. I'm gonna cut my own hair, obviously. And uh, let's go. A little bit rainy today. Um, this is a time in New York where things start to get a little cold. <laughs> um, it's almost jacket season. Raining, breezy. I don't know, I don't know where you guys are from, but uh, definitely gets a little uncomfortable out here. We we just coming off the summer, so uh, this is this is gonna be hard. Yeah, we like we always say, we're gonna have a cold winter. <laughs> Okay guys, dropped my little one off. Uh, starting to cut the hair. Nobody's here. Probably about 6.45, got something to eat. And uh, I'm gonna start the haircut. Give myself a taper, trim the top. So just landed here in um, Detroit, Michigan. So I'm on my way to go get my car rental. Um, good flight, pretty short from New York. I think it was about an hour and a half or so. So uh, I wanna get the rental. So just picked up the car. Uh, about to get out of this parking lot real quick. I just jumped into a Toyota Corolla. I should be good on gas. I'm gonna go find a hotel, uh, put the navigation on and uh, I gotta get something to eat immediately and I have to find a Starbucks <laughs> immediately. I need some coffee, pretty tired as you guys can see the eyes. I'm really, really tired. Been up since uh, at least 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, plus I got a little one, so you know how that goes. They keep you up all night. All right, so I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna find this hotel, uh, throw it in the nav. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, uh, checked in my room, uh, threw my stuff on the bed. <laughs> uh, pretty decent room, I like it. I forgot what I chose, I think this is the Hampton Inn, yeah, the Hampton Inn. Uh, pretty decent spot, nice place to rest your head at, you know. Uh, Michigan is pretty cool, I'm gonna uh, get out there and look at it a little bit more. I just hit up Starbucks, uh, I think I'm gonna go get something to eat. Still tired as shit. Uh, Class is at about 10 o'clock. I like to get there a little bit early when I do my classes because I kind of want to, you know, see what's going on, what, what, uh, where I'm gonna be at, you know, which, you know, how the room looks and kind of figure out where I want to be, you know, and, and where I want to stand and where I want to do my thing at and uh, where I want to demonstrate at and where I want to teach people at because I do hands-on classes as well. So all my classes are hands-on. So I want to just figure out the way I want to lay everything out. You know, I've never been to the place before. So I like to get there early and look around. So I'm probably gonna get up about six o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna kinda experience exactly what's going on uh, basically in Michigan. You know, get something to eat and, and check out the town. I've obviously never been here since I'm here for a couple of days. I might as well, you know, see what's going on. Been driving around for a little while. Very, 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 very nice out here in Michigan, Canton. Um, I have to say it looks kinda like Florida. One of those big, uh, one of those big states where um, it's just stores everywhere. If you guys can see, there's just like stores on the side of the road. You know, coming from New York, we're not used to that. You know, I've been to so many places, and a lot of places are like this. I say Florida, there's places in Cali that's like this. We got these big strips where uh, you know it's a bunch of stores and stuff. Like we don't have that luxury in New York unless you kind of go upstate. 
So it's cool out here. I like it. It's nice and quiet. I think it's a good place to raise a family, I assume. Um, I, I wouldn't know. You know, I, I assume, like I said. Um, you know, a lot of people look fairly nice. It's like I'm from New York. We're not used to that. So it's pretty cool, actually. Um, let's try to make a U-turn. Oh, cool, guys. Look, we even got a little backup camera in the Corolla. <laughs> Sorry about the video, guys. Um, I'm usually with somebody. And what's funny is... I go so many places and I'm usually with somebody and I never get a chance to record. Well, I don't record, I don't vlog it. I, you know, I just thought about it before. I was like, I gotta start vlogging these trips, on a lot of trips with people and stuff like that. And it would have been a perfect time uh, before to uh, to vlog it, but you know, I just decided to do it on the time that I went by myself. But uh, you know, it's never too late. This will kind of take you guys in a day in the life. Uh, it would have been dope to shoot one when we did My Crazy Barber Life. We got some more episodes coming, so I'll vlog on those as well. Uh, I did so many trips with My Crazy Barber Life. I think we did about three, like three trips to Cali. Three, four, three or four trips to Cali, I'm not sure. It was about four trips, absolutely, because we went to LA, San Fran. We went to so many places. So I should have been vlogging those as well, because I had more people with me. Um, but it's cool. And uh, I'll start doing it a lot more. A little bit of food shopping uh, before I go to her room. Try to stay as healthy as possible when I'm on the road. I'm gonna go out and get something to eat a little bit later. But I'm in a supermarket just, you know, looking for something to make sure I got a couple of little healthy snacks for the room, you know? Try to stay as healthy as possible. All right, guys, uh, pretty much just came in a little while ago. Been chilling out for like about an hour, watching a little bit of TV, searching the web, you know, researching and stuff like that. I love, I love to get on the internet and just research and do stuff. Not too much of a TV buff, but I did watch something on TV right now. Reality TV, <laughs> bunch of wasted time. Like I said, I enjoy the town. Uh, Michigan is cool. A lot of hellos, a lot of nice people. No problem. I really like the city. Like I said, got to get up in the AM. About to wrap it up right now. I'm gonna go take a shower. Can't take you in there, obviously. And then, uh, you know, go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Have a nice night. If it's nighttime, if you're watching this, it's nighttime. Have a nice night. Okay, guys, uh, it's about 7.27 right now. Set the alarm clock to 7.30, uh, 7.30 and I woke up just now. Uh, set it a little bit later because I uh, Googled the place last night and I found out it's only six minutes away from the hotel, which is a good thing. So I would have been up too early for nothing. So I'm going to go downstairs. Rumor has it that they have breakfast here, that they serve breakfast in this hotel. I never like the hotel complimentary breakfast, so I'm going to go check it out first. And if not, we'll go to a diner or something like that. But I'm going to go check it out. Let's go. Well, as you can see, guys, breakfast was not that bad. I'm pretty impressed with this hotel. I uh, recommend it to anybody. Hampton Inn, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed, and we're on our way. Probably go get some coffee. You know, I got to have the coffee in the morning. Uh, all right, guys. So
Okay, guys, as you can see, it was a great class. Um, went to the whole hotel room, uh, changed up a little bit, uh, went out to go get something to eat. Uh, just putting gas in this in this Toyota Corolla, and I'm laughing because the gas prices are awesome out here. Prices 249 and 257. Gas prices are amazing. I don't know where you're from, but in New York, gas prices are not like that. And also, this Toyota Corolla is crazy on gas. I didn't have to put anything in here. Um, <laughs> I've been driving around for like two days already and just, I didn't have to do anything. Um, <laughs> I put like $7 and it couldn't even take to $7. I don't know. Uh, just note to you guys, get a Toyota Corolla if, you, you know, if you're into something like, you know, a smaller car, These things work. All right, guys, I think I'm pretty much gonna wrap the video up from here. Um, it's been a great ride. I wanna thank you guys for coming with me. Uh, big shout out to all my subscribers, the people who have been following me for years. I just wanted to leave you guys with a little something that was on my mind. I mean, I was I was basically sitting here and kind of reflecting on my past and, you know, thinking about my future. And, um, you know, I basically wanted to say to you guys out there that you don't need any big companies behind you to do whatever you want to do. Um, I'm living proof of that. Um, I did everything myself. You know, I didn't have any big clipper companies behind me with all these classes that I do. And I've been doing them nationwide, um, possibly one day going worldwide. I've got calls uh, for classes overseas and you guys will be coming with me if, if those classes fall through. Um, but I just want to thank you guys um, for following me and stuff like that. And I did want to leave you with that. You don't need any big companies to do whatever you want to do. All right. And that's no disrespect to anybody that has big companies behind behind them. Those guys are doing their thing. You know, all those guys that have all those, you know, big clipper companies behind them, they're doing their thing. But it's not, you know, it's not about that. I'm just saying, don't wait for any, you know, anything. Go out there and get it yourself. You know, uh, you put the work in, it's going to it's going to come out. You know, every, you know, it'll, whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. I say that all the time. Um, and I want to say that, uh, you know, it's all hard work. And as you can see, you know, uh, hard work and consistency and success from what I've heard before and I've, and I've experienced success is it's quiet. As you guys can see, you know, I'm here by myself, you know, this weekend I travel by myself. A lot of times I travel with people, but then a lot of times people are not on my schedule, so they can't travel with me. So it's, it's, it's very hard, um, you know, to be by yourself and not talk to anybody and drive by yourself and you got to figure things out and with the navigation and trying to go everywhere and figure everything out. You know, you by yourself, but you got to, you know, I'm in, I'm in an uh, unfamiliar state, never been to Michigan, never been to Michigan before. Um, and I'm doing it by myself. You know, I'm sure you guys can do it by yourself as well. But I just want to say that, you know, success is quiet. It's a bunch of small things and a bunch of things that you do that add up to that success. So you got to get out there and you got to make it happen. And that's what it's all about. You know, just putting your mind to anything that you do and it takes time. Like I said, it's a lot of lonely nights. Anyway, um, hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I mean, pretty much it wasn't too much to, to, to look at. I mean, you know, you just took a ride with me, but hope you got a lot out of it. Jada Barber, how to become a barber.com, easyblazeshavingproducts.com. I'll talk to you guys soon. I got a flight to catch in the morning, so I'm going to knock out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Talk to you later.